This is The Morning Five. I'm your host, Michael Ware, President and CEO of the Center for Christianity and Public Life, giving you five minutes of news and scripture Mondays through Thursdays. Today is Tuesday, July 30th, 2024. Let's open with scripture. Today I'll read from the 119th Psalm. Blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. They do no wrong, but follow his ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees. Then I would not be put to shame when I consider all your commands. I will praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous laws. I will obey your decrees. Do not utterly forsake me. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, friends, good to be with you this Tuesday. Uh, Let's get to the news. First, yesterday, President Biden uh, delivered a address at the Lyndon B. Johnson Presidential Library and Museum in Austin, Texas, uh, which was the first uh, public engagement since Uh, his Oval Office address last week. And in the speech, he rolled out something that we told you was coming, which is uh, a a proposal for uh, reforming the United States Supreme Court. Uh, President Biden said that the courts were uh, part of a, being used as part of a, quote, extreme and unchecked uh, conservative agenda and put forward uh, a series of proposals, including new ethics uh, rules, a code of conduct that would uh, regulate how justices disclose gifts, uh, the public political activity that justices can partake in, uh, and uh, new uh, uh, regulations around recusals and how to decide whether a justice uh, should recuse themselves from, uh, from cases. Uh, the other principal reform that Biden advanced was an 18-year term limit for justices. Uh, current justices that have served for longer than 18 years would be grandfathered in, uh, but essentially this would mean that every two years uh, in the first year of a president's first ter- uh, of a president's term, and then the third year of a president's term, uh, presidents would uh, nominate uh, justice to the Supreme Court. The uh, proposals, at least at this point, have little chance of uh, gaining really any any traction outside of being used uh, in the presidential campaign. Uh, and Vice President Harris. Uh, said that she's a partner in the effort and uh, obviously endorsed the president's remarks. The second news item, uh, uh, governments around the world, including the United States, uh, have spoken out against uh, Venezuela, uh, denouncing uh, the way that Venezuela uh, has, the incumbent government has handled uh, the election results. Venezuela held its presidential election on Sunday, Uh, The incumbent, Nicolas Maduro, uh, faced his uh, toughest challenge yet. But according to the uh, Venezuelan Electoral Authority, uh, which the incumbent government controls, uh, uh, partial results of Sunday's election have Mr. Maduro winning 51.2% of the vote uh, as the clear winner uh, over uh, Edmundo Gonzalez, uh, who the electoral authority claimed received 44.2% of the vote. Uh, What the electoral authority has not done is uh, released an accounting of of the paper tally of ballots cast. And that is printed by voting machines at polling sites, as opposed to the digital tally, uh, which is sent to the country's election body which again is controlled by the incumbent government. Uh, There's significant skepticism about these election results 
uh, and there will be pressure on the Venezuelan government to publish precinct by precinct results. Uh, otherwise, according to reports, uh, the United States, as well as presumably other countries around the world, uh, will not accept the results of the election. Finally, uh, yesterday, Iowa uh, started enforcing a ban on abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. Uh, Iowa became the 22nd state to impose restrictions, broad restrictions on ending pregnancies uh, since the Dobbs decision overturning Roe v. Wade. Uh, Iowa's Supreme Court last month uh, put aside uh, a challenge by Planned Parenthood to stop enforcement of the law, paving the way to the enforcement of uh, this law that's on the state books in Iowa. All right, that's your news for the day. Let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us. May your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever which is just the way we want it. All right, friends, thank you for joining me today. The Morning Five is brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network, supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Hope you have a great Tuesday. <laughs>